Hi everyone, welcome to Grains Agriculture and today I'll be showing you what's growing from the last day I posted. Mm, so here we have tomato. which has been transplanted into each crops so that they can they could grow well as you can see the line goes through over there which means I have a couple of tomatoes in here which are growing very well as you can see tomato plants some of them are still small but growing as you can see so now I'm preparing to plant some more more different uh, crops so that I could I could experiment what grows in this season. As you can see here, I'm trying to irrigate here so that my soil will be softer for penetration. I'll be plowing very soon because I have these lined up. We have spinach over here, which has about a week, just five days. We have sweet pepper, Carolina wonder, that one is a Swiss chard. We have beets. Crimson globe, which takes uh, about 60 to 100 days. We've got watermelon. Uh, it's not the f it's not my first time. Uh, it's not my first time growing watermelons because last time we had a very devastating uh, rain that spoiled everything that I had at that time it's about three months ago uh, and we have an, an eggplant uh, which takes 80 to 90 days uh, it's a black beauty. Lastly, we have onions. We have onions, Texas Grano, which takes 200 days and takes 10 to 12 days to germinate uh, it's on the fifth day so still got time as you can see here i've put some grass so that they can never get too much extensive sunlight uh, even the cabbage as you can see over here my customers took all my cabbage in just a short space of time uh, i'm left with just a few as you can see here some of them never got out perfectly so that's why they are 
are too small like this one and that one and that one and that one i think they've been not getting what they need in a perfect way they should as you can see all over here weeds <sighs> don't care that much about weeds because when i want to take it off here i take them off anyway now anyway that i want as you can see here this is my type of irrigation system that I have that I use I want to keep this place wet so that when I in about an hour when I start when I start plowing my soil it will be much easier because when there's water which means there's softness there's many methods of irrigation so that I can keep my crops alive. As you can see here, I've cut a piece of a old tank so that uh, I'll store some water so that whenever a water is not available or scarce, I use available means to keep my garden alive. As you can see here, I have a tank, and these two containers they have they help me a lot. As you can see here, there's water, and there there's water. This is my other garden in which I planted uh, sweet potatoes and they are growing very well but now in this place I'll have to start again because you see over there I'll be taking you on every step so that you, you, you can see how to maintain a garden like I like I do thanks for watching uh, my name is Sian Dambata you've been great thank you so much and please don't forget to share subscribe comment thank you